Oh my gosh, I gotta make a video about this freaking awesomeness that just happened. So I had a uh, chat with the book guy, you know who you are, book guy, who sent me the book. Um, it's David Godin's book, which is all about pushing through anything and everything to keep going and going and going like in a really brutal, brutal way for yourself. I think it's called Can't Hurt Me. Um, he just brutalizes himself. I'm only halfway through it, so I don't know what happens, but um, yeah, he had a really, really tough childhood and just, um, you know, tries to push himself through all this crazy shit, like the seals and ultra marathons and whatever comes next. Um, which is important if you need to build up willpower and trust in yourself, you have to do that. It's his journey, you know, good for him. Um, <coughs> But, so I had read a good part of this book and then was um, talking to my girlfriend <laughs> about something. And, um, and, and so I, I got from the book that I was like, oh, I need, to, I need to push on this thing that I want to happen. And so then it was the next morning I was talking to her about it and I'm talking about it, like what we need to push and do the stuff. And then she's like, oh, it's already taken care of. You didn't have to do anything. I was like, okay. Yep, got it. Of course, this is what I already knew. This was this, this was a couple days ago. Um, so I just had a talk with this friend again. It was like, so are you uh, changing your mind about the letting go and taking easy stuff after reading the book? I'm like, nope. Um, that's actually the last thing. <laughs> I'm just feeling bad for this guy and his story. Um, so I'm dry, so I'm like, you know what? What do I feel like doing in my heart? Like, what is my heart telling me to do right now after that kind of heavy conversation? I'm just gonna go to the park and be with the trees. Um, and so I'm driving and I get a phone call from Monterey. I don't answer it while I'm driving, but I'm like, that's a Silomar for sure. Why are they calling me? And just a little background, um, the meditation retreats that I go to are out of Silomar. And as you would know, if you've been watching these videos, I decided I wasn't gonna go to the one in May anymore. I was gonna cancel that. Um, so I had to like find the number and figure it out and cancel it and meh. I was gonna do it eventually. But I'm just driving to the park, get the call, stop the car when I get here, look at the voicemail and oh, it's Mary from Asilomar. Uh, my roommate had called and canceled, so she was just calling me to see what I wanted to do. So all I had to do literally was push the number that was in the transcript. She answers immediately, asking what I want to do, and I, all I have to say is, I uh, cancel mine also. It could not have been an easier thing for me. And look at the timing. Look at the timing, the confirmation, the synchronicity. Like, this is how life works. This is how life works, Chuck. This is how it works, man. This is what I'm trying to explain to you. You don't have to do shit. <laughs> Except follow this, your heart, your heart. Because your heart is actually, for anyone that doesn't know, sends a ton of information to your brain. It has a tons of neurons, sends tons of information to your brain, tells it all kinds of important stuff. Yeah, it knows, it knows what you're meant to do. And all you gotta do to have the most amazing life ever, ever, is just freaking relax, let go and follow your heart. That's all it takes, that's all it takes. And the evidence is all around you that that's true. It's all around me. I experience it on a daily basis. <sighs> so, so there you go. Two great examples of what happens when you just let go and takes care of itself. And and I have a lot of examples. Oh, the whole story about my move, my house in uh, Savannah, where I thought I had to do all this work and all this. Whatever, I just let go and trusted the realtor and it was total magic. I didn't do have to do any work at all and everything that I wanted happened. I probably have a lot of stories like this because it's how life works. <laughs> go watch that video. It's, it's, um, something part two. I think it's one of the very first videos I posted this year at the end of the very end of last year. It's the same story. As soon as you let go, life takes care of it we're totally supported just like we were when we were in the womb we're all just children of God of universe of reality and it's always taking care of us 
so that's the truth. I'm gonna go walk around the park while more magic happens. Bye.